Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am featuring a, y'all guessed it, another palette that I have had in my collection a while and I just keep forgetting to use. So I've got the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. If y'all have ever seen it, uh, the outside says cute AF right here and on the inside we've got some warm tones and of course this yellow shade which is honestly let's be real that's why we all wanted this palette because this kind of yellow shade is hard to come by so today we are going to test it out do a look I have it on right now I'm just gonna let y'all watch and then I'll come back and uh, I'll let y'all know the tea on this palette so cue the intro Okay, so first I want to go in with this color right here and set this all over the lid just to give me, of course, like always, a color to work on top of. Just something simple that'll help everything blend. Then I'm going to go in with this color right here and just use this to deepen up the crease. Sorry for no shade names, that was Full Zip and then Champs. And I'm going to take this and smoke it out in the crease. It's not very dark either, so it will take a lot to get much pigment. But I just want this for a little bit of a first layer. So no big deal there. So we're just going to buff this out and all over the crease and that'll give us a nice super subtle transition which is perfect because next we are going to go into big cocktails right here <clears throat> and we're going to take that pretty heavy in the crease just to get things built up a little bit. I am experiencing some fallout from this palette, but nothing too crazy. It's not horrible. Definitely can live with it. But I am also having some trouble getting the pigment payoff I want, which is a common thing I heard about this palette so not too shocked there either okay so to really smoke this out and get what i want i'm going to take this color right here that is g and o and i'm going to put that a little lower in the crease but still there i am having to like pick up a whole lot and then go in or i'm not getting any kind of payout which is pretty disappointing but <sighs> these are super affordable and oftentimes that's what you sacrifice which you know I'm spoiled so I'm not used to having to do that but all makeup is not created equal so it happens it happens I've used other color pop palettes that perform extremely well so not too terribly mad about that but it is being rather difficult and it's kind of hard to blend out and it's not blending together that well okay so on a smaller more focused brush I'm gonna take this dark brown this is called French Kiss and pop that in the outer corner just to get the vibe I want kind of going. Okay, the fallout from this palette is making me very angry, but it's okay. 
we can fix that. So now I'm gonna go in with a makeup wipe and just straighten this out and get a little bit sharper of a line. I'm actually gonna take, I mean basically the color we all bought this palette for, Mischief right here. And I'm gonna use my finger because it is, I want as much pigment as I can get, so I'm gonna use my finger and pack this on my lid. Okay, so that yellow showed up really good. Um, just to add a little effect, I'm gonna take Chauffeur right here and just pop that in the center of my lid because when in doubt halo eyes fix everything or pretty close to it but that isn't doing what it should be either okay guys so <laughs> we are I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face off on camera and try to fix this look however I can. Um, and I'm gonna smoke my lower lash line out with that dark brown and play with that liner a little more and see what we can do and if, if we can revive this look. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, <laughs> so if y'all just watched that whole tutorial, I'm thinking you can guess that I'm not a fan. Sorry. I love ColourPop about 75% of the time. The lip are great, eyeshadow is usually pretty solid, but this is crap. And that's mean, but it's crap. Okay, so here's the look we ended with. It's not tragic, but it wouldn't blend right. The pigment was not good, even like this little shimmer right here, this orange shimmer I tried to use, wouldn't lay down on top of a mat. Like I had to do my spotlight with that gold, which it kind of worked, but not really. Like nothing would blend right, nothing looked right. I just didn't like it. The yellow shade is okay. I mean, yeah, that's why we bought the palette. But it had to be layered with my finger like three times. And you shouldn't have to do that with a mat. Like you just, you shouldn't. And there was no way it was going to blend out with a brush. I just can't I don't I don't like it and I'm so sad because I waited forever because I really wanted this palette and I heard horrible things but I was like we're just gonna try it and we're gonna see if we like it because it don't matter what anybody else thinks we don't like it sorry <laughs> but uh yeah sorry to have a negative video I know we missed Saturday today's negative I'm sorry Wasting the $16 is not that bad, but it hurts my soul a little, so save yours. If you don't have that, don't waste your time. Find a single yellow shadow somewhere else, guys. Sorry. Also, better news, if you made it to the end of this video, um, I'm actually hosting a group giveaway right now. Um, my Instagram is Real Makeup Flow right here, and it's also down in the description. So if you want to get in, it is a two winner giveaway, tons of prizes. I'm doing it with three other influencers. Um, if you want to get in on that, go follow my Instagram. The post is the first one up right now. I'm sure it'll be second or third soon. But it's the first one up front now. Follow the instructions. Super easy to do. And get in on the giveaway. It is so simple. Because uh, it's some really good prizes. Including some ColourPop palettes that I do like. <laughs> and some other great things. And also in other amazing news. My palette. I have two palettes. I did a collaboration with Crate Finds. I'm going to do a dedicated video on that soon. But just a little hint, if you want Crate Finds Mailer 7, it is up for pre-order and my name is all over it. So if you love me, go buy it, yeah? Because Crate Finds Makeup doesn't make me angry. I actually have on one of their new lipsticks today. And I usually hate lipsticks, but it's pretty damn cute. So we're just going with it. But yeah, that is my news. Giveaway on Insta. 
go get Mailer 7. Trust me, it's incredible. I will tell y'all all about it very, very soon, probably Thursday or Saturday. I'll go more in depth. But go ahead and get Mailer 7. I'll put the link down there. There's some left, but it usually sells out quick, so I would snag it while you can, and I'll give you all the details in a few days. But yeah, okay, so that's my happy news, but this palette sucks. End of video. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys in a couple of days. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.